SGC here, we are back with a movie review. Oh man, it actually happened and it actually is out. Kiki's Delivery Service, 2014 edition, live action of the children's fantasy novel of the same name. Directed by Takashi Shimizu. You might know him from his grudge years. Interesting choice of director, I would say. So for the cast, we have Fuka Koshiba, a figure skater turned actor, and that's pretty much all I know in this film, and she's probably the only highlight of this film, and she's not that amazing either. So this live action is an adaptation of the first two novels. Actually, there has been six novels now written on Kiki, and the Ghibli Studio version was based on the first novel only, because the novel titles for the first one is Kiki and Her New Magic, and the second one is called Kiki and the Other Witch. This film sort of touches upon as there's another witch in the story. So, what did I like about this film? I would very loosely, very, very, very loosely that this live action has a sliver of the atmosphere that the Ghibli Studio version has. Like, it's sort of magic-y, but it falters and the, the acting's really not that all amazing at all. Um, the CGI is really crappy. Like they wasted a lot of CGI on Gigi, uh, Kiki's cat, but then he looks really fake compared to everything else even though he moves a lot and stuff. Like I give them props for, for making a CGI cat but that's pretty much it. It was just a cat and didn't really build to the story. And everything else that was CGI was pretty crappy. Her flying, I would say it's it like you would talk, think about like Iron Man. Iron Man flying makes sense and is cool, but I think the whole floating and just not having any logical sense of movement makes it really hard to, I would say, like understand that it's an actual thing rather than a cheesy thing because there are times where Kiki's like flying this close and then she'll glide this far away in in a short amount of time that doesn't make sense and I think that really pulls out of this whatever immersion I could have got out of this movie and yeah so the CGI really dampered this movie the casting I would say I mean beyond costume design that's it uh, Fuka Koshiba, she looks old, like, I mean, Kiki is supposed to be 13, and I would say she is not 13, she would give me the sense of a bumbling 16, 17 year old that just, you know, still, still haven't figured out life, or what she's gonna do in university sort of thing. In, in the Ghibli version, I remember that I had a better understanding of Tombo, who's played by Ruhei Hirota, and I did not like him at all in this movie, certainly due to the fact that he tried to do facial expressions that would only work in anime. Like, it just didn't work. Like, your face doesn't contort like that in real life to express yourself. And since we're on that, there, there are a lot of moments here that I felt that they just saw it work in the anime and pulled it out. and plotted into live action. And this film basically had the cheesiest singing in the rain scene. Like when it happened I was like, holy crap, is this happening? What? What, what am I watching now? Like that was just... <clears throat> there are dialogue lines that don't work because it's not how normal people would conduct themselves. I would say in an anime or animated film, it's more uh, it's more forgiving because it's fake. Whereas live action is just like people don't talk like that. And it's just really frustrating because it's just it comes off as annoying. And at first it's I wouldn't say if it's it's cheesy. It wasn't even amusing, it was just plain annoying. So yeah, um, this movie was just totally what I expected, but worse, I would say, like, it was, it was just, it gave me the feeling of, why am I not watching the Studio Ghibli version? 
that's the whole thing. The entire time I was like, wow, this movie, this vibe, this 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 premise, I really miss it. Now let's go watch the Ghibli version. That's pretty much how I thought about this entire film the entire time. I think the way that it was filmed, I don't know if it was the director's fault, but but it just didn't bring anything to the table. Like certainly I did not expect that the director was the director of Grudge because it didn't feel that it was anything filmed like how a Grudge film would film. A Grudge film would be shot. And it's just like, I wish sort of, maybe you can have made it more mysterious rather than super, super childish. And maybe, I can't believe I'm saying this, but make it more realistic in terms of just the whole atmosphere. I guess it does, the plot itself does go more realistic as people see the, as people see Kiki as a curse rather than someone that they can rely on. And if I can remember correctly, the Ghibli version was she meets Tombo's friends and that's pretty much it and she becomes depressed. But here in this movie, it becomes logical that everyone in the serve in, in using her service is thinking that she's a curse, so therefore anything that she delivers is curse. And that affects her. And I think that was the that was one of the interesting things that they played with and, and yeah, but but then the entire plot line of her, um, I, okay, I'll take that back. But I think everything from her learning how to fly to going to the town and l meeting the baker and his and her husband and setting up her shop and starting delivering stuff was fine-ish. But afterwards, everything else, when it was relational with Tombo and especially the conclusion was just wow, like. Like, wow, that was just, did I just watch, like, a Saturday morning, you know, cheesy kids show with live actors? That's what I felt. The ending was like that. So, it, it's pretty bad. So, if you can not watch this, and are not forced to watch this, good job. Um, I, I just watched it so you wouldn't have to watch it, basically. And that's pretty much it for this movie review. If you love Kiki's Delivery Service and you actually watched this and you liked it, leave me a comment below. I would want to know how you explained your liking of this. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this movie review for Kiki's Delivery Service. See ya.